Hi, in this video we will see what are cube numbers and some of the properties of cube numbers. So what do we mean by cube of a number? If I write one cube, it means one multiplied to itself three times. Two cube is two multiplied to itself three times. Three cube is three multiplied to itself three times. And similarly, if we have x cube, then we can write it as x times x times x. So cube of any number is obtained by multiplying that number to itself three times. Okay, now let us look at some of the properties of cube numbers. Let us find out cube of 1. 1 cube is 1 times 1 times 1 which is 1. Cube of 2, 2 times 2 times 2 that's 8. Cube of 3, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Cube of 4 is 64. Cube of 5, 125 and so on. So what do we notice here? That a cube of 1 ends with a 1. So it's an odd number. The cube of 3 ends with a 7. The cube of 5 ends with a 5. The cube of 7 ends with a 3. The cube of 9 ends with a 9. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 are all the odd numbers. And we see that their cubes are also odd. So cube of an odd number is an odd number. Okay, we are seeing it here. Cube of 3 is 27. Cube of 5 is 125. 7 is 343. Cubes of all odd numbers are odd. And of all even numbers are even. Cube of 2 is 8. Cube of 4 is 64. Cube of 6 is 216, 512 and 1000. So cube of all even numbers are even, correct? So if we have the numbers which 2, 4, 6, 8 which ends with a 2, 4, 6, 8 and a 0, these are all the even numbers and their cubes are also even. Okay, I hope this much is very clear to everyone. That cube of any odd number is an odd number and cube of any even number is an even number. Let us see another property of cube number. I do a cube of 20. 20 cube is 20 times 20 times 20 which gives an 8000. I do a cube of say 300. So it is 300 times 300 times 300 which is nothing but 27 followed by 6 zeros. Cube of a thousand. Thousand times thousand times thousand. So what do whenever we have a cube number ending with zeros then the number of zeros will always be multiple of 3. In the first case, we have 3 zeros. In the second case, we have 6 zeros. In the third case, we have 9 zeros. Okay, so we see that if a cube number ends with zeros, then the number of zeros will always be multiple of 3. I hope this much is clear to everyone. So if I give you a number say 100 and I ask you is it a perfect cube number? We have to look at the number of zeros since it's ending with zeros. The number of zeros are not multiple of 3 and hence it's not a perfect cube number. I hope this much is clear to everyone. So 
we have seen two properties of cube numbers that a cu uh, cube of an odd number is odd and the cube of an even number is even and the second property which we have seen that if any number any cube number ends with a zero then the number of zeros will always be in the multiple of 3. In our next video we will see how do we determine whether a given number is a perfect cube number or not using the prime factorization technique. If you have any doubts regarding the properties of cube number, you can send me an email at keepti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.